Welcome to Safe Conveyor. Not sure exactly what to call this. I think I'll call it Lessons in Making a Corner Turn. So we have plenty of corner turns on our videos and websites, and it isn't magic that we make a 9 degree turn. It's actually very simple. The first requirement is that the frame, the frame of the conveyor, has to be lower than the height of the belt. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to go across. So regardless of whether you use our conveyor or someone else's, that's going to be the first requirement. Otherwise, you'll be coming across and you'll really be waterfalling onto from one to the other. But in our case, this is a lower frame. We actually have enough room to install a transfer plate. And you want to have something that if you want to move small product, you're going to have to consider how far away the drive is from the end of the conveyor. Because even though we're turning on the end, if you were trying to turn somewhere down the middle, that motor might become an issue. So those are just some of the factors to getting a turn. So in our conveyors, it's simple, a matter of taking out the uh, guardrail and installing a transfer plate, or if you have something, maybe in a box and you have it high enough, just a little bit higher, you could probably skip that. So as the box turns, it's actually moving be moving on the belt and it's moving that direction and when it hits another belt whether it's moving left or right it's going to follow that at some point when it gets off the force driving it on it's going to be pulled in that direction and it's going to hit something as it turns it's going to try to go to the right well it can't go to the right because it's going to hit the guardrail so this is the point of having either a bar what we call a corner turn post, or possibly just turning on the end of the guardrail. I'm gonna run this and then I'll reset it. And we're gonna go turn this box as a standard guardrail. So you'll see what happens when we, when we do that. So I'll put it on, go watch it. So it's hitting that corner, and right in the corner, it goes down to the stop. Now, if I move that guardrail back, let's say we have a box that's really big and it doesn't want to make that turn, you can cut the corner. It's a term we use. It means that we can have the box transfer from one conveyor to the other. Now I'm gonna slide this for, this is not even screwed down, so I'm gonna move this back. Now what's gonna happen is we're gonna, when we come around that corner, there's not going to be anything to stop it until it hits that pole. And what will happen is it will go across that corner. This is a great thing to have and set up this type of a turn. If you have a long package and you're thinking, oh, I have this package that's three feet long. I'm going to need a three foot conveyor to make a turn. Not necessarily. The width's probably more important than anything else. You can turn a 24 inch package, 24 square, 24 by 36 on a 24 inch wide conveyor, simply by having it transition the corner and go downstream a little bit. So I'm gonna run that one again, get to see how it's going to turn. Here we go. And you see it's gonna pull, pull, pull. Now it hits that pole and it turns, okay? Turn that off. So this is just a simple thing that you can do to make a, a large box make a nine degree turn. Thanks for watching.